So, Edouard Geoffroy from DGA France. Uh, maybe two questions on resources or corpora. Uh, one for Roberto. You mentioned that one third of the budget or, or global funding was devoted to resources. Uh, do you have any idea of the figure of actual corpora uh, or the, the cumulated value of corpora which was uh, delivered or distributed outside of the project uh, thanks to that effort? Is it most of that funding? Do we expect one through big amount of corpora getting out or, or is it more projects about corpora, etc. And the question to Stelios is related to that. You mentioned in one of your slides that when resources are f entirely funded by public resources, they should be released. So which, in which case do you see resources entirely funded by public resources and, and what would be the means to oblige the the centers who have done those resources to release them. Right. Uh, okay. So I was referring, I mean, to the number of projects, not to euros or bytes or whatever. Uh, I have no idea about the, I do have an idea about, I mean, the, the C projects which are supposed basically, I mean, to dust, do the polishing and make, I mean, fit, I mean, for online consumption, I mean, the resources. Uh, but, I mean, we can ask, I mean, I know the colleagues in the room. Uh, I'm not very good at being accounting beans and my colleagues uh, back in Luxembourg, they know, so I, mean, I can provide you with, with information. I mean, I, I, I simply don't remember. I have uh, an idea about the order of magnitude, I mean, for the SIP uh, activities. Uh, remember that two things. So first, I mean, we're trying to deal with too many problems at once. We're dealing with uh, reducing the cost of acquisition, the cost of uh, cleaning up the cost of aligning and so on and so forth, annotating, so that's one element, one line, with the, the tools element. We are dealing with the question of uh, making, releasing resources, existing resources, to make them, I mean, uh, available, which entails discussions about, you know, legality elements, okay, willingness, mindset, and then technicalities, I mean, in terms of uh, documentation, I mean, encoding and representation, metadata and all the rest of it, too. And then eventually, I mean, provide ways, I mean, to, to maintain repositories, directories, and, you know, establish communication. So uh, it goes beyond, I mean, the volume. We have, however, one big handicap, and I keep, I mean, referring to it because, I mean, I can't do anything myself, I mean, to fix it, and that is the legal basis of uh, community programs, which is very simply said, we give you 100% of the cost of your project that you retain exclusive full and exclusive ownership of your own result. And now clearly, I mean, if you want to combine that legal foundation with the concept of uh, making I mean, stuff available, widely available, or universally accessible, we have a bit of a problem, okay? So now we, for more than 15 years now, we have been trying to make some little progress based upon, uh, you know, sympathetic support. <laughs> Uh, little provisions here and there in the technical, I mean, uh, work plans, uh, statements which uh, would not, I mean, stand in, in a tribunal. Uh, uh, and uh, so far, I mean, you know, people who are good intention, um, uh, good intentions, I mean, they were basically I mean, complied with that. But these things can be can be challenged any time in any court in, in any legal system because they run counter to the very foundation of the contract, which prevails, as you would expect over any other provision. So we simply, and I'm very blunt, and I'm not very good at you know, politically correct speech, we don't have, I mean, as community, we don't have, I mean, a solid basis, I mean, for these infrastructures, okay? And normally we say, folks, I mean, it's your problem, you just, I mean, sort it out between yourselves. And it, this doesn't work, I mean, when there is one sponsor. Now, if you make it, I mean, if you make it wider, if you bring together, national public funding, European public funding, maybe, you know, industrial efforts and goods and kinds and so forth, so, this can only I mean, become even more complicated than it is. So that's why I believe um, we decided, I mean, at some point in time, I mean, to try and make, I mean, a share, I mean, kind of a 
utilitarian, simple, maybe in some respects simplistic approach, I mean, trying to get something off the ground, okay, and to measure, again, the response and therefore the desirability and the usefulness, while being aware that, I mean, the fundamental problem with the copyright, uh, IP, et cetera, et cetera, is something which, I mean, affects all of us well beyond, I mean, the language field. It's not by chance that copyright is the word which appears most often in the digital agenda for Europe. I mean, cross-border markets, you know, cross-border, I mean, exchanges, different legal systems, big problem. And uh, it goes ways, as you know, ways beyond, I mean, the little things, I mean, we're doing here, okay? Uh, it's a problem which we can only solve, I mean, by creating, I mean, either a specific legal instrument or by some sort of a broadly based, I mean, community effort where people somehow, I mean, undertake, I mean, you know, to accept certain provisions that go beyond the, uh, our financial regulation, our contractual framework. We, as commission, we're not very well, well equipped. Has not been the case in the past, it's not the case today, maybe, you know, in a few years, but, you know, probably after my time. <laughs> then there was a question for you. Yeah, after Roberto's short answer. Uh, so, well, the question the is, what is it? it? Yeah. So, uh, entirely publicly funded resources. The idea is that if there is no private investment, then at least these resources, resources be they content or data, okay, and I'll, I'll give you an example later on, should at least be catalogued, and if there is any cost that is associated to them, this should be the minimum possible. It should cover just, I mean, storage, printing, publishing, etc. That's the idea behind it. Open or shared does not necessarily mean always eh, for free, okay? Not even covering uh, 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 cost, etc. If this is what uh, uh, you wanted to focus on. Now, concerning public content, not content that, ha that has been funded entirely by public money, but public content, okay? But there is a, a logical relation between the two. Then these should be open to reuse. There are various directives. I mean, all the European citizens have paid quite some money for these for this public sector information directive to come to birth, uh, several. Uh, uh, well, I understand all that, but my question was, uh, you said it should be, but uh, what has changed or what can change to, to the current situation? I mean, okay, it's, then, it shouldn't right. be just wishful mm -hmm. thinking. Mm -hmm. Right, so then here we need a joint, we need to share the microphone with Roberto. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> simply because... <laughs> but he, but he answered partially. Well, what, what the Commission, as far as I know, now I go beyond, I mean, I trespass my privileges and prerogatives. As far as I know, the Commission is not going, I mean, to suppress, I mean, altogether intellectual property rights tomorrow. It's not going, I mean, to happen. And therefore, we have a very narrow path between... Uh, there is an opportunity to share, trade, whatever, on a voluntary basis, if you uh, subscribe I mean, to some press precepts and sign them I in mean, some agreement, it's done. But you decide. We cannot make you, I mean, make that decision, okay? Uh, so that's the best, I mean, now, there are, within the commission, there are, I mean, different views and different, I mean, parties. Uh, it's not a secret, I think, that my directorate has been pushing, I mean, uh, towards, I mean, open, open, open for several years with a number of uh, interesting advances, including, I mean, the PSI directive and other activities, okay? Uh, you know that uh, we are trying, I mean, to make, I mean, scientific publications, I mean, you know, widely available on the web, but not just, I mean, you know, through STM publishers and the like. There is a big debate now about, I mean, data, okay? Scientific data beyond publications. But at some point in time, I mean, we all hit, I mean, the brick wall, which is basically ownership, copyright, and the like. And that's not gonna mean to vanish overnight. So it's, it's a struggle, okay? So all I can call for is some sort of a, you know, voluntary effort whereby the respective owners, all disaggregated, etc., 
see the benefit of and, and accede to a scheme, whether it's MetaShare or any other scheme, okay, on a voluntary basis. We cannot deprive them of their constitutional legal rights like this. I mean, I don't see that happening I mean, in the coming years, I mean, from the Commission. But in any case, to conclude this, there are three examples that I would like to uh, share with you. One is the JRC key. It is very interesting to read the license. The second is the Europar, and the third is the case that was raised also in the discussion in the morning concerning uh, the data from the EPO, from the European Patent Office. All these are public organizations, so the treatment is different uh, depending on case. I think we've only time for one more question, and what Volker has asked uh, some time ago, so... Yeah, Volker Steinwitz from RWTH Aachen. Uh, Stelios mentioned uh, copyright exceptions that need to be harmonized, and uh, Roberto also said we might need some specific legal instrument. This is just to underline, uh, at the beginning of this chain, when we gather the raw data, the copyright really plays us a very bad trick, uh, because it was originally invented to protect intellectual property, and in some sense, it legally even prevents us, you know, counting frequencies of words and so on because we cannot just download stuff on our PCs. So it would be great to, say, really uh, solve this on a legal level. And I know this will take a lot of time, will take years or so, but is MetaNet going to address this? Or maybe can, can uh, the Information Society um, help? then it will not have the power to do something. Metanet will not have the power to do something more than uh, what it has uh, uh, already done. I mean, uh, we intend to promote the Charter uh, with uh, the help of uh, uh, Roberto and uh, colleagues inside. Now, nobody knows which door will uh, remain closed, uh, although we'll be banging on it for uh, quite some time. The good news is that even at the, commission, uh, at the commissioner level, okay, these things are very high in the agenda. So I think it was Commissioner Cruz that really uh, uh, set the copyright issue very high in the agenda as one of the stumbling blocks for uh, the European digital market. So. We can be optimistic. I can guess that we can be optimistic. Okay, but that's really good to know that this is seen uh, as a, you know, as an important point on the. Oh yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay, guys. I think I have to let go of you, and so you have five minutes of coffee. But I think we make the coffee break shorter than normal. First, let's thank our speakers.